Oh, okay. And also with them is Samantha Baranski and Evan Angel, who also work with the park. And Sam is usually here, and I think Angel too, but Sam is usually here at the office over at the courthouse. Good evening. Uh, I was here a year ago, um, met some of you. I had been on the job for four days, um, and I immediately punted to my colleague Sam and, and Lauren Felter uh, for that. I'm happy to report after a year on the job, I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, so I think I've got most of this this evening. Um, Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, um, celebrate because your national park turns 10. How many people were around 10 years ago, right? So this is a thing. Um, I wasn't here, but I've seen and heard the stories. Um, so I tell people that the National Park Turning 10 is great. It's like having a 10 year old though. We're, uh, we're bipedal, we're mobile, we have opinions, some of which are good, some of which are questionable. Um, and we're screaming towards our teenage years, um, which is fun. Um, but unlike most 10 year olds, uh, 10 year olds don't get new houses, uh, though we'll have one here very soon. Um, the sheriff's house is a big topic to update folks on. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for, uh, if you live along the green, for your grace, for some of the extended noise um, and clatter going on in the sheriff's house. Uh, I was just talking to my, my roommates about um, uh, noise of the past, let's say, month. Uh, the big issue with the sheriff's house, old buildings, who knew mortar isn't very good in it. Um, I have a background in philosophy and religious studies, and when they said, we need to fix the mortar, I said, you need to really, you know, give me a, a very simple pitch to understand this. They sent me a PowerPoint with three slides. <laughs> the first one said, mortar no good. Uh, the second had a mason with his arm from the outside of the building, the inside, and the third slide showed what the mason was holding, which was a trowel in his hand on the inside of the building. So the wrap around the building is to keep the building warm, and that obnoxious sound uh, you're hearing is a 500,000 BTU heater to keep the building above the requisite temperature to do all the masonry work for the building. Um, we did get a complaint about the noise, and think we've somewhat remedied, remedied, remedied it by uh, rotating the angle of the heater. So as construction continues, please bear with us. If there are issues like new noise or extra clanging or uh, those sorts of things, please let uh, myself know or, or anyone at the park and we commun can communicate that to the construction team. So when do we get this new house? Um, right now, it looks like the uh, first or second week in September. That is when it is scheduled to be demobilized, all the stuff's going to come down, there's going to be an arrowhead on the front of it, all that good sorts of things. I knocked on wood because, well, uh, it was supposed to be the last week in April, um, so I'm, I'm optimistic, um, <laughs> cautiously. Uh, I will say that uh, while we'll clearly have some sort of event um, celebrating its opening, I have no idea what that really is going to look like because it really depends, quite frankly, on when the construction is done and, uh, quite frankly, what the congressional delegation and White House want to do in terms of celebrating Delaware's only national park. So there's a little bit, I'm the superintendent, which as my kids say makes me the big, big boss, but I have bosses that are much higher as well that, that their schedules will be dependent on the opening. Um, we're super excited to have the home of the park in Newcastle. Um, not only will Sam's office be there, and Lauren and Evan, who is here as a, a community volunteer ambassador who's helping us build the volunteer court. Um, my office will be on the second floor of the sheriff's house. Um, and when people ask, you know, where do you first go for First State National Historic Park? Uh, basically everything that's out there in the world is gonna say come to Newcastle. So that's pretty cool. Um, broadly, what else is kind of going at your national park? I think most people know that Newcastle isn't the only unit. There are six units for the park. We have two down in Dover, John Dickinson Plantation and the Dover Green, two in Wilmington, Old Swedes, and Port Christina, and then we have about 1,300 acres in the Brandywine. And what's going on is a lot. Um, we now have nine employees. 
Whoa. <laughs> For those of you that are here 10 years ago, um, it was one employee. So we're almost gaining an employee a year. That's a good clip. Um, and in that, we're able to do things. Um, I was doing some, some other public meetings earlier this week, and, and I said, by our own admission, the National Park Service has been kind of inward facing for our first decade. Uh, it's now time to turn that into an outward facing presence. The Sheriff's House will be part of it. Public programming will be a big part of it. Uh, and we're gonna start getting the story of Delaware and the first state uh, out to the American people. So I'm pretty excited about it. So this is good stuff. Um, also kind of broad um, with the park and our nine employees. We're now in a position to come to meetings like this and really leverage the relationships we get. Six years ago, seven years ago, it's really nice to meet you. Let's exchange business cards and we can talk. Now it's, let's talk about doing something. <laughs> we can actively participate in our communities. We can give programming. So we can show up to events. Um, we can do MPS flag waving. We can do State of Delaware flag waving. We can do State of Newcastle flag waving. So please don't hesitate to come to us and say, hey, we have this great thing. Uh, it happens every March. It's in the bottom of the library in Newcastle, and you should show up. And uh, I promise we'll keep showing up. <laughs> so um, park's kind of complex. I'm going to be here, hopefully, with a glass of wine. I prefer red, so please don't drink it all before I get to it. <laughs> um, I'll be more than happy to talk to you about life, liberty, and the pursuit of national parks. And unless Sam wants to add anything or Eva wants to add anything. I, I noticed think. the time poster. So right? I'm going to be respectful of everyone's <laughs> time. But if you have questions, please do come over to us. Drill us with questions. That's why we're here. And if you think of something after tonight, send us an email and continue to drill us with questions. That's what we're here for. And again, thank you to the invitation. Thank you for hosting us. Um, and we're just really excited what the next 10 years are going to hold. Then we're gonna almost we're gonna have a driver's license and be able to vote. <laughs> 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 oh,